I've done 30 years in the fire service, started off obviously as a fireman, firefighter now, and finished as an operational station commander, serving at Radford Road Fire Station in the centre of Coventry. You did what you joined for, which was to go out and look after and save people, and maybe put yourselves at a reasonable risk to save somebody else. I mean, some of the incidents I've been to, I've been to two air crashes where everyone was killed, and we stayed on scene to cut body parts free. House fires, I've had people that are just burnt beyond recognition and I've had people that we've been brought out of the buildings and you've been working on them and they've died and took their last breath while they've been with you. You can't always save life but 99% of the time you know you, you, you do have that good thing where you cut someone out of a car and they leave and they're well and you feel like you've done a good job. I thoroughly enjoyed my career, I'd do it again straight away retired in January 2013. Pleased to be retiring and thought nothing was wrong. He was just totally different. I expected him to be happier because he was retired. He decided he wasn't going to do another job. I thought bored or depressed, that's how it came across. Things started to happen where certain high-pitched noises like tannoy noises, smoke alarms, vehicle reversing, lift doors opening, anything that's sort of a beep, 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 that's an alarm base that's to get the attention of humans to keep them safe started to have sort of really terrible effects on me. He started talking about self-harming and suicide. It's, it's not the best. So I started to look for help, started to look at PTSD kind of websites because I just felt that something wasn't right. Some friends contacted the fire service and they said to ring the firefighters charity. Got in contact with them. I went down to Harcum House for a week at the end of March. I hadn't got a clue what they did and I just expected sort of very basic stuff. But what I got was absolutely first class, well understood, appropriate therapy for firefighters. And then when he came back, I don't know what they did in that week, but it sort of changed him. He's just so much better, so I can't thank them enough. And the firefighters' charity getting me down there and giving me the week down there definitely saved me from considering doing more serious self-harm and possibly stopped me committing suicide. <laughs>